Thank you for watching CTR TV. I'm Christy Olds with a special edition of your Five in Five. We'll take a look at some of the highlights of 2018 in just five minutes. 2018 started with the launch of CTR TV. This is just a great vehicle to communicate with our members. Just get more people involved, more people engaged on their own schedules. Executive committee members and CTR staff cut the ribbon on the studio on January 18th. That marked the start of our weekly updates as well as in-studio interviews and coverage of off-site events. Many legislative leaders, including House Speaker Joe Arasimowitz and House Minority Leader Themis Claritas, joined us in studio for a capital conversation throughout the session. Realtor and Senate Majority Leader Bob Duff, as well as Realtor and State Rep Chris Davis, also shared their time and thoughts on issues important to Realtors. For me as a realtor, it brings real world experience to the, to the Capitol every single day of having those kitchen table conversations. You know, a lot of politicians talk about it, uh, but I do it every single day. Congressman Joe Courtney and Congressman John Larson also visited CTR TV to talk about their work on addressing crumbling foundations here in Connecticut. The past year saw the Connecticut Association of Realtors play a major role in increasing its profile on state issues. Thank you for that spirited debate. We're going to move on <laughs> to our next question. CTR President Michael Barbaro moderated the three gubernatorial debates put on by the association, a Republican primary debate, a Democratic primary debate, and a general election debate. All three were held at the historic Schubert Theater in New Haven and broadcast live by media partner WTNH News 8. The events put realtors and their issues at the forefront of the election. If real estate agents have a relationship with Hartford, with the governor, it will be better in the long haul. No matter what party you, you support, I think as realtors it's really important for us to be here. CTR's 2019 leadership team says they hope to continue to build the strength of the association and its 17,000 members. Along with the association's increased political involvement, 2018 saw more realtors involved in the political and legislative process. My name is Carol Christensen, and I'm a member of the Connecticut Association of Realtors. I'm here testifying today on behalf of Connecticut Association of Realtors, 17,000 members and thousands of Connecticut buyers and sellers that we represent. Several realtors testified during hearings at the state capitol on bills that would impact the industry and home ownership. They helped defeat several measures, including a proposed buyer's conveyance tax. Many other realtors emailed or contacted their representatives to express their opinions on those proposals. Realtors from across the state also attended each of CTR's debates, saying they felt more informed after each one. They took that information to the polls on primary day in August and election day in November. Many used the hashtag CTRealtorsVote to let everyone on social media know Realtors vote and work for a better Connecticut. A national epidemic that hits close to home is now the focus of a CTR work group. The association formed the Opioid Crisis Work Group, which held its first meeting in October. The goal of the group is to determine what action CTR can take to help address the opioid epidemic in Connecticut. I think uh, many people don't realize how many people are affected, how easy it is to get addicted, and uh, what can end up happening. The group also met with people who are working in the field and got their input about how realtors could help. The opioid work group identified several ways to take action, both short-term and long-term. Stay tuned for more details on the opioid work group's efforts in 2019. CTR also launched a public advocacy campaign with media partner WTNH to highlight the association's mission to make Connecticut a place to live, work, and play. For the more than 17,000 Connecticut realtors, this is what we sell. Promos included a 30-second commercial that aired during morning television, during newscasts, and even in prime time. We can grow our state and work to help more people achieve their dream of owning a home. That is your 5 and 5 recap of 2018. We look forward to another eventful year. I'm Christy Olds for CTR-TV.